lovelies and welcome back to another video. Everywhere I go, I'm plant based dripping. So I've made videos talking about my experience with counting calories in recovery, but I haven't talked to you guys about what happened after I stopped counting calories and the benefits that I've seen since not counting calories. So if you guys don't know, I'll just give you a quick little overview. I chose to count calories for various reasons in recovery. For one reason, I was going through extreme hunger. So in the beginning, I was eating 10,000 calories a day. My appetite naturally decreased to then 9,000, then 8,000, then 7,000, 6,000, etc. So it was really helpful for me to see that my appetite was gradually going down because I was freaking out that my appetite was taking me to such a large amount of food. So it was really reassuring for me to be able to see that progress over time as my body healed. Um, in addition, I was also extremely confused about calories and how much I should be eating. I really wasn't sure if calorie counters were accurate. So I basically chose to be a human guinea pig to see if I really could eat above what calorie counters told me I could eat and maintain or lose weight. Basically, I had been using calorie counters for years and years before I even developed an eating disorder and had always relied on calorie counters and fitness trackers to tell me how much I should eat and always made sure that I was in a caloric deficit in order to lose weight. So this was my little experiment to see if I could actually lose weight without a caloric deficit according to calorie counters. So when I was consistently losing weight, I was eating 700 calories over what calorie counters tell me I maintain on. And so even though I was in 700 calories of a surplus, um, not only was I not gaining weight, I wasn't maintaining weight, I was actually losing weight, eating in a caloric surplus according to calorie counters, which is the exact same numbers that I've always relied on for years um, in order to lose weight or maintain my weight and whatever. Essentially, I counted calories throughout my whole recovery and throughout my whole natural weight loss process. It got to a point where I realized there was just like really no point in me counting calories anymore. And even though like I wasn't using calorie trackers to restrict myself in any way, so after I had finished losing weight and going back to my set point, I was like, why am I still doing this? It was like I was still doing it it just out of habit. So one day I just realized this is pointless, I'm just gonna stop. But some interesting things happened when I stopped cold turkey. I felt like a sense of anxiety and like I was missing something and like I was forgetting something because it was so ingrained in me to count my calories, weigh my food, track my activity every day that I suddenly felt a sense of anxiety and realized that it was almost a sense of comfort for me in a way to have that. Even though I was not using it to restrict myself in any way, it was almost like that routine and just like that knowing of how much I was eating gave me a sense of comfort. Even though I would, you know, eat up to 4,000 calories a day and that didn't bother me, it just was nice to know how much I was eating. So I was really not expecting for that to bring up a feeling of anxiety for me. So it was interesting to sit with that and acknowledge that. But I would say that after about a week of not counting calories, I did not feel anxiety anymore and began to feel just extremely liberated and really free. And like I had taken off a big stress off my shoulders. And immediately after stopping counting calories, I just felt so much more in tune with my body. And again, and just like so free and like I had even more free time like I didn't have to I wasn't wearing like a Fitbit I wasn't weighing my food before I ate I wasn't putting it into chronometer so it saves a lot of time when you're not tracking calories even though I was listening to my body before when I was counting calories for some reason I just felt even more in tune with my body because I really was listening to my body's hunger signals. But I would say it does take a long time in recovery to get to this intuitive eating stage where you can just rely on your body's hunger signals because I think for a lot of us, if we try to start intuitive eating too early, we can accidentally under eat and restrict. Um, so I think that it was really important for me to count calories for let's see, it was almost almost three years into my recovery um, to make sure that I was eating at least 2,500 calories a day um, and that I wasn't accidentally going back to restriction again. And I know that some of you are in this really tricky situation where you want to start intuitive eating, but you're not sure if it 
if it's exactly safe yet to do that because you may have not gotten three periods in a row back or you may not feel super confident in your hunger signals and like you're able to listen to your body yet or you don't feel ready mentally yet because you feel like you're gonna start accidentally restricting um, or subconsciously restricting if you start trying to rely on your body's hunger signals. So I would say that it is important to really take your time before you start trying to intuitively eat and you have to be really ready physically and mentally before you do it. So I just want to share my experience with what it was like to finally officially give up calorie counting for good so that you guys know what to expect when you're ready and when you finally give up calorie counting. You may experience some anxiety and some discomfort because for a lot of us it really has just become second nature counting calories and so there can be some anxiety and a sense of like something is missing when we give up this habit that we've been doing for so long. I'm like the happiest that I have ever been in terms of my relationship with food and my body and it just feels amazing and I just feel so free and at peace with food which feels amazing. So I just want to share that little update with you guys and share my experience with that. Let me know in the comments where you guys are at with counting calories and how you're feeling mentally with either intuitive eating or counting calories. If you guys have given up counting calories let me know in the comments down below what that process was like for you and what tips you can give to other people for giving up this habit of calorie counting. I just want to give a shout out to a few people today. I have a lot of new people in my Recover With Abundance Facebook group. So first off, I want to give a shout out to, I'm so sorry, I'm going to butcher several of these names. Um, the first one is Jaime, I think it's pronounced. I'll leave her username down here. Definitely check her out. Um, I also want to give a shout out to Quilo, I believe it's pronounced. Um, and I also want to give a shout out to Emily. I will leave her username down here. And I also want to give a shout out to Shannon. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day. I love you guys all so much. Don't forget to be kind to yourselves. And until next time, peace out guys. Bye. Everywhere I go, I'm plant-based, dripping, got them all the new Bruce Lee. Roy, I got the glow, kicking knowledge to your chick. I let her swim until she's so what she trying to